Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today, as usual, I have three projects for you. I hope you enjoy them. If you do, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified every time I put out new projects, hit that little bell. And leave me a comment if you want to talk about anything. So today, the first project is going to be Easy Peasy Pillow. I bought these two uh, hand towels, uh, dish towels, at uh, Hobby Lobby the other day. They were on sale. I think I got two for uh, $3, maybe. I printed these um, words, let's say home, on my Silhouette Cameo. And I used iron-on vinyl. This is uh, only my second time trying this. Uh, I did a t-shirt for a friend of mine yesterday and it turned out really good. So now I think I'm a pro. So I just um, lay my vinyl down and they say don't move the iron around. Just set it down on high heat and just hold it there. I just give it a 10 count and move it. And I, I don't leave it for any special amount of time. I just keep checking it. And here is where it's finished. I just pull up a little bit. And if it stays, then I know it's done. And by all means, I'm not a pro. <laughs> I'm just starting out learning how to do it. So someone said, uh, I saw this on YouTube the other day where they put this little piece of wood on the bottom of their glue gun and now it doesn't tip over. So I'm trying it and I love it. Every time I put my glue gun down, it would tip over. So now I'm gluing my uh, edges of my um, dish towels and I'm just gluing it right on the seam I'm gonna glue three sides and then I'm gonna stick some stuffing from a very old pillow in there. I think this is so cute how it turned out. And I put the, um, the little tassels on adjacent sides so I would have tassel, tassels on each side of my pillow. So after I close up the end, this is how it turned out. Isn't that adorable? Okay, my second project's really pretty easy. I got this canvas at Goodwill for $2.99. Uh, I bought some of this vinyl um, from uh, Dollar Tree. I printed this leaf off of... Uh, Google, I need some paint, some paint brushes, my little uh, words, my galvanized words from Dollar Tree, and that's about it. So what I'm going to do is uh, use a lot of people's method of rubbing the pencil on the back. And right here is where I'm just checking to make sure I can see it on the back of the vinyl. And yes, I can. So I just rub the back of the um, picture and then I'm gonna trace it with a pen. And then I'm gonna cut out, that's how it turned out. Now I went over it in the pen so I could see it real good. Now before I pull that and cut that, I'm gonna paint my uh, canvas and while it's drying, I'll cut the leaf out. So I just uh, paint all sides and uh, the top. I do put about two or three coats on it. Here's where I'm putting my second coat. And I'm also gonna paint my uh, galvanized word. I'm gonna use the harvest word because I think leaf harvest, you know, they kind of go together. And this is a fall decor. I probably won't leave this up uh, for the whole year, 
you know, I'll probably just uh, hang it up for the holiday. So I let that dry, and then I kind of just touch up some uh, spots where the colors are showing through on the canvas. And then I let that dry again. After it fully dries, I peel my, um, my leaf off the vinyl, and I apologize, I forgot to film that part. Uh, I put a little jute uh, twine on the top with a little button, and I pinned my harvest uh, word at the bottom. Now, my third project, I think, is so adorable, but I really didn't realize how much work was involved. There's my fat cat again, eating as usual. So, I'm going to use uh, felt, the carvable pumpkins. The, I'm going to use five of the little uh, tiny pumpkins from Dollar Tree, paint brushes, paint, and lots of ribbon. So, I cut the middle out of my pumpkin. I leave the little uh, stem on. And I remove five of my little pumpkins. It comes with six, but I'm only using five. And I'm not going to paint this pumpkin. Actually, I'm going to uh, put the ribbon around the sides. So I'm just going to put like a mixture of ribbon, two pieces of each, in random places. It doesn't really matter. And you can use different colors. I pretty much stuck uh, with the black uh, contrast, but you can throw a couple other colors in there. You'll see I have blue over there and... But I kind of stayed with uh, ribbons with black in it. So next, after that, I'm going to start making uh, the ears. And in the picture, the nose was uh, black and the ears were pink and black. So what I did was I painted my belt. And then I bought these little eyes at uh, Dollar Zone. This big bag of eyes for only a dollar. So I'm picking out the right size ones, um, 10 of them. And then I'm going to start applying the eyes. Like I said, this was a pretty big job. I didn't realize how entailed this job was. I mean, it probably took me like an hour at least. So I apply all the eyes on the uh, pumpkins and then I paint um, the ears, which I'm going to put on now. And then I use wire from the Dollar Tree for whiskers. And I'll show you now uh, what it looks like as soon as I finish this one. So adorable little kittens. So I just cut uh, six pieces of this little wire. I don't make it uh, too big. And I just stick it in the side of uh, his cheeks next to his nose. I put, uh, I made black ears and then I made the inside of the ears pink. I guess I could have just left left it okay with the black, but I wanted to make it like the picture. So there you go. Now I'll show you what it looks like up close. How cute is that little kitten? So I fill the pumpkin with some bags to take up some room, and I place the kittens around the top of the edges. And this wasn't so easy either. It didn't want to work for me and 
um, styrofoam isn't the easiest thing to glue. But I'm determined and I won't give up until it's finished. My back was starting to hurt and everything, but I was not stopping. And then, of course, my battery was going. I had about 5% uh, left. So I was, oh, there goes one. Uh, I was racing with time. I mean, if you hold it down, it, it will stick, but it doesn't stick as fast as normal. So after I get them all on there, this is my finished project. I think it turned out very, very cute. It's adorable. It was worth it. And you put the lid on the back, uh, you know, holding them in there. So here are all three of my projects. Again, please, if you like my projects, please hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button if you'd like to be notified every time I put a new project out. Please hit the bell. And leave me a comment. Let me know what you'd like to see me make. Thanks, guys.